Wayne's a great bloke. He'll give you the shirt off his back. He's a bit rough around the edges when you first meet him. You think, oh, I don't know about this fella. He's a bit shady, but no, he's a, he's a genuine, genuine bloke. Um, he took me in when I started my apprenticeship. He's been like a dad to me the whole time I've been with him. Um, yeah, can't fault him really. Talks a bit too much maybe, but <laughs> yeah, he, um, he's a very smart horseman. He's had a lot of, a lot of problem horses come through his stable and he's got them to win races. Um, up until a few weeks ago, he was still riding his own track work, but um, his old knees are getting a bit bad now, so he's had to give that up. But yeah, he's, he's a, one of the top horsemen out here. He gives a lot of apprentices a go when they're first starting out. Uh, Matty Wishart, Sheridan Tomlinson, he gave all them their first winners. Um, yeah, he's always looking to put kids on, give them a go, help them out. Yeah, Wayne uh, Baker is a, an extremely uh, good trainer. Um, had some great success over the years. Been involved in the industry for around 50 years. Started off as a jockey. Uh, I, I'm not totally sure of his training license, but I would suspect that he's been a trainer for somewhere around 40 years in the southwest area, and um, certainly produced some great results. And uh, hopefully he will have some success this weekend, as will the other local trainers. Um, Craig Smith, Ben Walder and Scott Rogers and uh, some of the hobby trainers that all have horses engaged. Actually, I can re vividly remember Ra Wayne's first race win. I don't know, I can't remember the name of the horse, but the owner was a guy called Des Cherry and the trainer was Barry Baldwin. Yeah, so Barry was, had, was the uh, trainer here at the time and um, Wayne rode a horse that won on that particular day for them. I, as I said, the, the name of the horse escapes me, but I can remember calling the race. Um, I don't think he's won a Roma Cup yet, so it's always been a, a big dream of his to win the Roma Cup and to have two in it, hopefully he's got a good chance. He was born and raised out here and then he moved to Toowoomba. Uh, he was down there for a while and then moved back to Roma about nine years ago. I moved out here with him and started my apprenticeship and been here ever since. Oh, Horse Old River, I said, um, I've got to thank Scott Morris at the Gold Coast swim. He rang me and told me the horse was there. He wasn't, he wasn't going good up and down that area and he said he's not eight year old, turn of nine. If you want him, you can have him. You know, take him out there and try to do something with him. I brought him out here. I stepped him up 1400 to a mile and he's, you know, he's won a couple for me. He ran three or four places for me. He's got a horse in that race with no weight in his back and get over the top of him at the end of it. Because he's a tough old horse, he's, he doesn't lay down to anything. But the stable mate, he just turned the tables. You know, he, like my nephew Les, you know, in Charlotte, big Les, you probably know him, you've seen him, and God, he's been good to me, that big boy, you know, he's always looked after me. And I keep telling him when he gives me this horse, Uncle, he's improved him for him. <laughs> no, but, you know, we've been lucky with him, really, because we're giving him, I think, five starts out of the mile, and he's won three in two seconds, and Thomas said, you know, it was a big win, you know, he really finished it off hard. Well, I've never really started many of the cups, mate, you know. In my day, I rode a couple of winners, but, you know, yeah. like, but um, it just never, ever interested me that much, you know. We run fourth in the last year where the horse called Sip It, and it's only in the last couple of years that we've been buying staying horses, because if you have a look at my stable, 90% of them are line, uh, and sprinters, you know, 1,000 and 1,100 metre horses. In the late 90s, we were probably drawing a crowd of about 1,000 to 1,500 people for the Cup. And uh, over a period of time, the club decided that they would like to make the, the Cup a little bit more popular, um, a little bit more of a place to go for people. And in a period of about 10 years, we took that 1,500 up to about 10,000. So it was. Uh, a fairly uh, significant event uh, come 2010, and similarly since then we've peaked at around the eight to 10,000. Of course, with COVID last year, we had to go back to a minimum crowd of 2,000. Hopefully this year, given there's still the ravages of COVID, about looking for about 5,000 people. So looking for people from the city to come, uh, also from very much all of country Queensland, uh, trainers probably come from a, an area around 500 kilometres uh, away to bring horses to the meeting. Of course they bring owners and uh, staff and also uh, people from those towns. So uh, it's very much an influx into Roma for the uh, Cup weekend. Mm -hmm.